All right, everybody, welcome back to Tough Run Metal Detecting. Uh, today is Friday morning, February the 1st, uh, 2019. So by the time this gets posted, it'll be a little while, but uh, yeah, I'm headed out. As you can see, I am not frosty here. It's only 46 degrees out, and I got like three layers of clothes on, so it feels super nice. It's not raining, at least not supposed to be for the next um, two to three hours, so. Uh, it's 2.30 in the morning. I'm going to head out uh, to that 1960s house permission. Um, I did not film last time I was there because I only had a half hour to hunt it. So I just posted a few pictures online on Facebook. But uh, we're going to go give it a good shot and go slow and try to find some history. So I will uh, thank you for watching my videos. Thanks for your support. Thank you for subscribing to me. Uh, thank you all you new subscribers who've just joined on. I hope you enjoy what you see. Uh, I'll catch you guys all at the first good target. All right. Hi right, everybody. Uh, welcome here. I got my first good target. Uh, it was a solid 10 nickel signal. Um, it was not budging. It was a solid 10. So I, I dug it up and uh, it turns out it looks to be like a solar light. So pretty cool. Looks like the wires are cut there in the bottom, but I'll take that. Pretty cool. All right, solid 10 on the MX Sport. I'm running the large coil today because I'm going to try and see if I can get some deeper targets. So, All right, I'll see you at the next good target. All right, everybody, welcome back. I just got another good signal here. A piece of brass here. Looks like it was sliced off the end of something. Anyways, uh, it doesn't have anything on it, so I think it's just scrap. But I've gotten lots of foil and other stuff in the middle uh, between these two good targets I got so um, they all sound good so I'm digging it, everything out here and uh, I'll, all right I'll get back to you at the next good target all right everybody welcome back I just got my first coin of the day it was a penny signal down here a um, little bit bouncy but uh, I gotta check this out it's a Lincoln it's got some bubbles in it though I don't think I've ever seen a Lincoln that's warped like that. Almost like a tortilla <laughs> that's been cooked too long. Got some nice bubbles in there. All right, we'll catch you at the next target. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, I just found the letter S. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, some kind of S hook, though. I was getting a bouncy double zero uh, gold slash iron uh, null because uh, I have the small iron knocked out. And uh, I decided to dig it anyways. So pretty cool. I don't know what it went to, but I'll add it to my bag and see you at the next good target. All right, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, I just got my next good target. And uh, it was bringing up at 83 to 88. So I got really excited because... Been hoping to find the big silver coin out here at this property and uh, fooled me again. But that's okay, I'll take a trowel uh, head any day. So, pretty cool. Looks like a little garden trowel. So, Alright, I'll catch you at the next target. Alright, everybody, I got a nice uh, high tone here, uh, even though it's rusty tin. Uh, it's an old, old jar lid, so that's a good sign. Maybe I'm headed to some more old stuff, so, all right. I'll catch you at the next good target. Hey right, everybody. Uh, looks like I just got myself a nice chunk section of chain here, so. It was a law, a big signal. I decided to dig it, and it was the length of the chain here in the grass, so. All right, see you at the next one. Hey, hey, everybody. Uh, welcome back. Now we're talking. I just got a 70-71 solid signal here down about two inches. Check it out. Old mason jar lid. And the porcelain insert is still intact from all I can tell. I'll take that any day. All right. Let's see. I'll keep following it. Maybe I'll find some more stuff out here. All right. See you at the next good target.
All right, everybody, I just got a nice sounding penny signal, and uh, I don't know what this is, but it was down here, good five, six inches there. So let's see if uh, I can get this cleaned off. I'll be right back. Give me a second. All right, everybody, I'm back now, and I got this brushed off. I have no idea whatsoever what this may be. It looks like it's uh, welded right there. I don't know, it's pretty cool though. It's wrapped around. So, it looks like it broke off there, whatever it was. If there was something, so. I don't know, but pretty cool. If you know, anybody knows what that is, let me know. I have no clue. So, alright, I'll catch you at the next good target. Hey everybody, I just got a nice solid hit. It was a negative 58 negative 60 on the MX Sport here so I knew it was in the iron range but it was a large target so I dug it and check this out I have no clue again but it looks like some kind of is that a bell is that a hanging doorbell maybe no it had uh, has two holes right there in the top it's kind of like a bell shape on the top and then the back is hollow on the inside Ah, no idea to me. If you guys know, please let me know. It's pretty cool, though. It looks super duper old. So even the holder looks super old. So I'll take that. Into the bag we go, and on we move. All right, see you at the next one. <laughs> All right, everyone, I just got a real nice sounding signal here, and I just... Pulled, uh, flopped the plug out and it flipped all the way over there so I put it back but check this out just got myself a nice nice looks like silver plated spoon oh it's gorgeous it's still shiny oh yeah maybe it's even silver who knows no it's plated it looks plated all right I'll have to clean that up a little better but that's cool that's awesome I'll take that any day all right See you at the next good target. Alright everybody, uh, welcome back. It's been a little while since I got a really good target. I've had crap. And uh, this one's not crap. I don't know what it is, but it looks like it's some kind of mechanical part. So, it's got a hex head there at the top. And uh, two holes to screw it into something. So, don't know what it is. Uh, again, if you know, please leave a comment for me, and I will uh, appreciate that. So, all right, see you at the next good target. All right, everybody, welcome back. It's been a little while again, and I haven't had a real good, nice target. I've had some foil and some cancel again, but uh, this is the first good target I've had in a little while. So some kind of bell cap or... No idea. Hubcap cover, I don't know. So, alright, on to the next one. Alright everybody, welcome back. I'm just about done here. It's been a long morning, haven't had too much here. But I just got a nice sounding target here on the side of the house, about 15-20 feet away. and I got somebody's dog tag. His name was Furious. So, pretty cool. I'll add it to the bag and carry on. Alright, if I find anything else on the way to my car, I'll let you know. Thanks for uh, watching so far. Alright folks, well that's about it for me. Uh, I'm going to head back home now, so I'll catch you when I get everything cleaned up and together in the wrap up. So, Thank you for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for leaving me comments. I appreciate all of those. Uh, I like communicating with everybody, so... Uh, thanks again, and I will catch you. All right, everybody, welcome back to Tough Run Metal Detecting. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, thanks for leaving me comments on my videos and supporting me in my endeavors. Uh, this is a quick wrap up for my hunt um, at the '60s house. I believe it's '66. It was built. Uh, this is some of the stuff you saw. Some of it you didn't. So I'll just go through it real quick. There's the trowel. There's the chain there. There's the solar light um, that was cut off at the bottom there. 
this little tiny valve goes to something I don't know what that goes to but um, this is a mason jar lid this is the old porcelain mason jar lid that's uh, intact so that's pretty cool um, this I brushed this off real good I do not know what this is if any of you know what this is please let me know it's got this uh, hollowed out back there and it's got these clamps that were holding it onto something. If you know what that is, let me know. You can see the shape of the the old iron or whatever the metal that is. Um, so pretty cool. I don't know. Here's that piece. Here's a piece of a spoon or a piece of silverware that's iron. Here's that weird welded piece of iron never seen anything like that before if you have any idea why that would be wrapped like that what it went to let me know pretty cool um, here's that dog tag and it says furious I'd hate to meet that dog there's a pull tab old style pull tab uh, the only one I pulled out of there which is surprising because Look at all that garbage and crap. I pulled a whole bunch of trash. So, a washer, piece of iron that was shaped. I don't know what it is. Here's that spoon. Now, there is some text right here. I don't know if you can see that. Patented July 28th. Whoa, it might actually have a date on there. I just now noticed that. Pen to July 20. I'm going to have to get my loop out if I can find it. I will uh, post the date if I can get a date on there. So pretty cool. Yeah. Patent date on a silver plated spoon or silver spoon. I don't know. Probably silver plated. Yeah, it's silver plated. Brass there. That looks like an old valve stem. Pretty cool. My one coin, which was a roasted, warped, bubbled Lincoln penny. See right there, roasty toasty. This weird piece of cut brass. Not sure what that went to. But okay. Here's the little bell thingy. Don't know what that was, but it looks like a bell. Now, this was a chunk of iron. I brushed it off, and it's got some detail on it. No idea what that could have been. Very interesting. So, and then there's the S hook, and then here's that wedge that I found. So pretty cool. It says uh, W4 USA on the side there. On the other side, it says warning, wear safety goggles, which I believe is sound advice. So, all right, um, that concludes my wrap up here. Thank you for watching again. I appreciate it. Uh, I will try to get that date on that spoon if I can see it, if I can find my loop. So until then, uh, until the next time I get out, take care and happy hunting to all of you.